We're here with head women's soccer coach Mike Van Horn talking about the upcoming ODAC playoffs. Coach, you're five seeds. So you'll be going to Virginia Wesleyan. What do you expect from that matchup? How does your team stack up? Uh, considering we just played them uh, two days ago, it's going to be a pretty close game. I think anytime that you're talking about Wesleyan uh, and Bridgewater playing each other, I think it's a rivalry game over here in the last three or four years. Uh, it's a close game. I think both teams are built very similar. <laughs> Personnel and stuff like that, so it's going to be a tight match. Uh, it should be a good score that you mentioned you just played them. You know, is there a challenge having to play a team twice in a row? Is anything, and that was a 2 1 loss for your team, does anything carry over from that game on Saturday? Um, I think it is a challenge. Anytime you play a team twice, uh, one, it's always hard to beat the same team twice, but to play them again four days later, uh, that's a huge challenge. For us, I'm not too concerned uh, in regard of. Going out and playing the game, we didn't really build that game up to be the big game uh, with the girls. We really talked about focusing on this Wednesday's game, try to answer some questions for ourselves uh, in the Saturday game. I think we did that. Um, so we'll take those adjustments and put it into win Wednesday's game plan and uh, hopefully come out with the results that we're looking for. And just looking at the overall playoff picture, I know you said in preseason this had a chance to be your best team. You would have defending national champion Lynchburg likely waiting if you win this game. But just do you think you have a team that can play with anyone in the ODAC? Yeah, I think you're talking about, I think there's probably five or six teams this year that I think everybody's shown that we can all play with each other. It's going to be a, uh, a tight match. Obviously, playing Lynchburg is not going to be easy in the semifinal. Um, but I think, you know, you've seen that they've lost to Christopher Newport uh, and then they tied Shenandoah. So um, I think the opportunity presents itself that if you can go out and you can play 90 minutes of soccer, uh, anything can happen. Now, offensively, you have, I believe, four of the top scores in the ODAC, or four of the top 14 scores in the ODAC, excuse me, all players with good pace. How, you know, you've used them a couple different ways, but how do you get those players open for scoring opportunities you know, now that teams will really be trying to lock it down in a playoff situation? Uh, a lot of it, is, some of it comes on them. Uh, obviously, they have to be confident in themselves. Um, we can move some players around uh, by formation purposes or stuff like that. Uh, but the most part, it's not really changing what we do, because uh, obviously you don't want to change a whole lot of stuff for the opponent. It's trying to make them change to things that you do. So uh, the biggest thing is just giving the girls the confidence that they can continue to do what they've done all year uh, and, you know, and hope that they do it uh, when it matters in the playoffs. And defensively, what does your team need to do to lock down teams? Uh, we've done pretty well. I mean, obviously at the beginning of the year we were giving up a lot of goals. I think here in the month of October, I think we've only given up, I think, four maybe, four or five. Um, versus the, in September, I think we'd given up like close to 14. So defensively, I think we're playing pretty well. Um, we're not really giving up um, good looks on goal defensively. The goals that we're giving up uh, is coming down to an individual play or something like that. It's not a defensive unit that uh, is breaking down and giving the other team really good looks where it's like, oh, we, we can make an adjustment there. Uh, it's, so it's coming down to individual and, the, and those individuals making that individual play uh, in that situation. All right, well, thanks and good luck. Thanks a lot.